Okay, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the mother-in-law suite. We have an outside door that is beside the garage that leads to a set of steps that goes up into what we call the mother-in-law suite. And you see there's a lot of spider webs up here. So we're going to have a beautiful door overlooking the green tree line out here. When we get to the top of the stairs, we're going to trade this French door out with a sliding glass door so we don't have to worry about the doors opening up into the space of the mother-in-law suite. And if you turn around, you see here it is. It's like a mini apartment. Uh, this is the kitchen area. We may be able to salvage some of the kitchen cabinets from downstairs to bring up here. We're gonna put a miniature refrigerator in here and probably some shelves above it. And then this will be our living room area. And we've got some nice bright windows here, all looking out onto the gorgeous greenery in uh, the outside. And then this will be I think this was supposed to be a hot water heater closet and storage, I guess. And this is the bedroom area. We're actually gonna take this wall right here and move it over two feet so that the edge of the wall will be ending right about here. And the reason for having a bigger bedroom, believe it or not, is because um, we've got two standard size beds that we'd like to bring up here and fit in here. So if we ever have guests, they could either sleep together in one standard size bed or sleep separately, sort of like oversized twin beds. And then you have the master closet in here. Um, we may end up, you know, I'm not sure why we need a closet this big up here but you know we'll leave it and because it could be turned into maybe a miniature study room or something and, and then uh, the hallway into the linen closet and then the bathroom which has not been finished yet but they do have the tub up here so they must have brought that up before they before during the walls going up and then there's still finishing work to be done. You can see that you can see daylight over the roof eaves. So we're definitely going to have to uh, finish that off and get that finished. And then all the electrical, all the plumbing, all the insulation work needs to be done. So uh, that's a lot of work. And it looked like they started to do drywall, but we have to come back and double check to see if one sheet of drywall will work. I think it won't. I think we have to have two two sheets to make it fireproof between this part of the house and the rest of the house. But that's the uh, mother-in-law suite.